there, Mike Walker here today, and today I want to talk to you about how you can optimize your blog post to where you can get your blog seen um, and get people to your blog for free traffic. So the number one thing that you need to do before you even start a blog post is make sure you go over and use the Google Keyword Tool. Um, the Google Keyword Tool is actually going to show you a list of keywords. It's going to actually show you how they rank and all that type of stuff. So that's where I would start. The next thing is, once you decide to actually make a blog post, make sure that you have the keyword in your title. That's going to be very, very critical as to where it's going to rank. The other thing, too, is make sure your keyword is in the description. Um, when you're going to do all your SEO at the bottom of your blog post, make sure when you do a description of your blog post as to what it's about, make sure your keyword is in that description. Um, Third, make sure your keyword is in the very first paragraph of your blog. Make sure you use it in the very first paragraph and make sure it's also in the last paragraph. That's going to help you um, get a really good ranking through Google. Now throughout your body of your text, obviously you want to make sure that you emphasize the keyword. You want to use it as much as possible, but you don't want to use it to a point where it doesn't look like natural conversation because then it just kind of looks you know, often it's just weird. So make sure you use it, but use it to where it flows with the conversation, whatever it is you're talking about. Um, but the way that you can emphasize it is by underlining it, you can bold it, you can italicize it, things like that. Make sure that it kind of stands out and pops. The other thing you can do with keywords is make sure that you use them in your heading tags. Those are your H1, H2, and H3 tags. Um, I try to use those. I try to use one of each when I do a when I do a blog post. I don't always do that, but that'll also help you with um, getting a good ranking through Google. Now, as you go throughout your blog post and you're putting your and you're putting your keywords in there, just keep in mind you don't want to use it too much. I mean, really and truly, I've always heard that you want to use it, you know, a one one to two and a half percent, you know, in, inside your uh, blog post. You don't really want to exceed 5% of the word count um, in, in keywords. I mean, you don't want to every other word be your keyword. So make sure it's like 5% of the words that you use in your blog posts. Um, make sure also that you use your keyword in your alt tags. Now, what an alt tag is, is if you ever have been on Facebook and you'll see a photo or an image and you hover over it with your mouse, you'll notice that a link will pop up. That's an alt tag. That alt tag is um it goes with that picture, so when you click on it, it takes you to that to that page. So make sure that you use your keyword in your alt tag as well. So I hope these tips have helped you. That was seven tips to help you get your blog post seen to where you can actually you know get it ranked. Um, and hopefully, if you use these things and use them correctly, you'll get ranked on the first page of Google. So I hope you got some value out of this. If you did, please like it, share it, and comment it. Share it with a teammate if you know somebody who's struggling to, to build a blog and who's struggling when doing their posts on keywords and things like that. Because I know, you know it can be kind of confusing, kind of frustrating as well as times once you're getting started. But once you get going good, you'll get better at it. Just like anything, the more repetition you do, the better it gets. So if you want some more information, if you really want a good training on SEO, the king of Visa SEO has got a training. And if you click that video below, Rob Ford does a training that I would love for you to go check out. Um, he has made hundreds of thousands of dollars just by blogging because he understands SEO, because he understands the power of ranking in Google. So if you want that training, just click that, that link below. You'll get access to it. And until the next video, I hope you all take care. Be blessed. Bye-bye now.